Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. My name is Walter Rowe, and I'm a Capture One affiliate. And if you like my videos, I uh, would appreciate you using one of the links in my uh, comment uh, to uh, either buy a product, maybe uh, maybe you feel good about uh, doing a buy me a coffee, would, would appreciate that, just says that you appreciate my videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new speed edit feature in Capture One 21. Yeah, the speed edit is a new set of shortcuts for uh, quickly accessing the um, uh, adjustments in the default workspace adjustments tab. If I bring up the edit keyboard shortcuts, I can see this panel here where they'd uh, show the new uh, default assigned keys. And you'll notice that the key mappings are very intuitive. Uh, they follow the order of the adjustments down the left side of the uh, adjustments tab with the mappings on the actual keyboard itself. If you notice the top row, the numeric row one and two key uh, down here map to uh, Kelvin and Tent. And then the next row, the QWER keys, uh, they map to the exposure to, uh, tool to exposure, contrast, brightness, and saturation. The ASDF keys in the next row on the keyboard map to the next tool in the tool tab. Highlight, shadow, white, and black HDR adjustments. And then the Z key uh, maps to the clarity tool. Uh, you see that uh, structure is not yet assigned, but you can, if you create a custom keyboard map, uh, you can assign structure. And then the uh, levels, black, mid-tone, and white points are assigned to the next keys, X, C, and V. Uh, as I said, they map very intuitively right down the uh, keyboard uh, to the order of the tools in the adjustment tab. The way you use them is you press and hold a key. If you notice, I've just pressed the one key and held it and the Kelvin slider has shown up at the bottom of the screen. I didn't have to go into the white balance tool and actually touch the slider. I didn't have to mouse over the slider. I just held the key. So with my left hand, I can select the slider that I want to adjust. And with my right hand, I can either press and hold the mouse and slide up or down or left or right and make the adjustment or I can use, in the, on the case of the Magic Mouse, or any mouse that has effectively a trackpad on top, I can uh, slide my finger back and forth across the, the top of the um, mouse pad, or mouse, you know, the top of the mouse, the glass top, and make the, uh, make the adjustment that I want to make. Uh, if I go to the QWER keys, I can adjust exposure, I can adjust contrast, I can adjust brightness, saturation and then if I go to the ASDF keys I can adjust HDR adjustments I'm just pressing the button with my left hand and touching the mouse with my right hand and, and dragging my finger across the top of the magic mouse I go to the Z key I can adjust clarity and I go to the X and adjust black point the C key to adjust the midtone, the V key to adjust the white point. So it makes these very accessible. I'm just gonna go back and undo these adjustments here to get back to the starting point we were at. Sorry about that, I've managed to deselect my image. Here we go, so we're back to the same image. Uh, the nice thing is you can go to full screen mode and in full screen mode, the toolbar is hidden. Uh, all you really see is the picture, so you can focus on the picture. And you don't have to interact with it. You can simply press and hold the key, and the slider appears at the bottom, so you can see what the, what the value is. Another really nice feature that they've done very cleverly with this is if you have multiple pictures uh, selected, and you press uh, and hold a key, um, it will tell you uh, each of them what they're adjusted to, and as you, as you adjust, it adjusts each one relatively. Now in this case, I happen to have both of them set at 5400 uh, white balance. So um, it probably 
uh, not so uh, so obvious. But if I go to a different picture, for example, I'll go to this picture. Here I can press 1, and you'll see that there's two different white balances here. There's 5400 on the right, and there's 53, 58. And if I make an adjustment, it's adjusting each one by the relative amount. So if it's adding 100 Kelvin to one, it's adding 100 Kelvin to the other. It's not matching them to the exact same number. Notice the left is 5925 and the right is 5967. So the, the, it retains that delta, uh, you know, and, and it's only applying the difference uh, as you move, uh, you know, your slider. It's not actually making them the same white balance in each photo. It's adjusting each of them uh, by the same equal amount. So if, again, if you're adjusting by 100, for example, on Kelvin, then, uh, then uh, you know, it's, it's adjusting by 100 on both images, relatively speaking. Same goes for adjust uh, for um, exposure. Notice there's a minus 0.1 on the left and a zero on the right. And if I bring it down to uh, minus 3.5, this is minus 4.5 on the left and 3.5. So, they're, they're, so, you know, there was 0.1 difference between them. There's still 0.1 difference between them. So, you know, it is, it, they've done a very good, clever job of, of maintaining, uh, you know, um, what you see. Um, and, and it gives you truly the ability to speed edit things by uh, selecting multiple images and just applying deltas to them equally rather than making them match. You know, if you copy and apply adjustments between two images, then you're, you're making them match uh, the, the absolute numbers like 5400 Kelvin. But if you select them and use speed edit, then you're just adjusting them by the same delta. So if they both look a tad bit bright, you select them both, you choose the exposure or brightness or whatever tool you want to adjust, and you just slide it down a little bit. And both of them slide down just a little bit. Get out of full screen mode here. So that is uh, speed edit. That is, uh, I think that's a really uh, useful, um, valuable addition in Capture 121. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this quick little video that introduces this feature. I know people that do volume editing will really appreciate this. And, uh, you know, if you're doing weddings or events or whatever, where you have a lot of pictures to go through and you have a short turnaround time, this is going to be a really handy tool for you. Thanks for watching my video. Please make sure you click the subscribe button so you get notices when, uh, when I do new videos. And watch for live streams to start soon. Thanks.